Hey guys, I made this script that's going to be pretty useful to people who play 3D games. I started writing it for my FPS aim trainer because I wanted to make sure the sensitivity scales were correct, but I kept enhancing it, now it's turned into something that I want to release to the public. Basically, the idea is that if you play a game where you have a specific sensitivity and you want to convert it to another game, you can use this script. I find it's much more accurate than a ruler. Why not use a website where you can convert your sensitivity? Well, what if the game you want isn't listed, or if it's paywalled? So, enter sensitivity matcher. This is the script. Um, the, the major thing you really have to realize is that these games listed here, the only thing you're doing whenever you select this is you're changing the yaw value. Games have an internal yaw. In Quake and Source games, you can change it with the console command m underscore yaw. In Overwatch, it's hard coded to the 0 0.0066. So whenever you change that, what you want to do, or you set this to the game you want to play. And I personally use 1.15 sensitivity in Quake. And that tells you that you multiply these, this increment is the smallest angle that I can rotate in the game. So if I move my mouse one pixel on the screen, that's the same as moving it by this many degrees in the game. So then you can use some math, you can figure out, well, it takes this much to do a perfect 360. And really what you're trying to do is you're trying to match this increment and this perfect 360, and they're effectively going to be the same. If you match one, you match the other. And what the script lets you do is, so it tells you the info, you know, you set the preset, you set your sensitivity, you go in the game, then you press Alt and a bracket key performs a full 360. You press Alt in the other bracket, it does, you know, at 20, however many you entered there, full revolutions. And if you press uh, Alt and the backslash, it'll stop anything in progress. So if it's going to take too long, then you can use that to stop it. Anyway, um, here's a quick way to test it. So I'm in Quake Champions here, and I like to line it up by looking at something that has a lot of um, contrast. So if I zoom in, I go like this, and then I hold Alt, I hit the key, there we go, full 360. Press it again, still full 360. And that's based on, uh, I set the script to 1.15 sensitivity and 0 0.022 yaw. So there we are. Does a perfect 360 in this. And if I hold Alt and press the other bracket, it does 20 of these. And it takes a little bit of time, hopefully it's not making anybody dizzy while it's doing this and it ends, there it is. So you know that this is properly calibrated, this is working as it should be, and I've used this to calibrate the sensitivity in my game as well. So, I'm going to quit out of Quake Champions, and instead I'm going to go to Overwatch, and I'm going to pretend that uh, I don't know what sensitivity I should be using in this game, and just hypothetically, let's say Overwatch just came out. I don't know what sensitivity I should have, but I know my Quake sensitivity. So I go under options. Let's just say I was using four. I know this is the right answer, but let's say four felt about right to me, maybe a little high. So then I look around. I go, okay, I'm going to try to line up my crosshair with this wall. I hold Alt, hit bracket, and go, okay, that turned too far. So my sensitivity is too high. So I drop it down to 3.9. Go back over here, go like that, still too high. I go 3.8. Go over here, hit it. Hey, it didn't turn far enough. So it's somewhere between 3.8 and 3.9. And from there you can tweak it. Ultimately you'll get to 3.8 is as close as you can get to the exact same sensitivity. And you see it falls short just a little bit as time goes on. If you could put more numbers in there, then it would be 3.8333 repeating. And since Overwatch is a game that's listed here, if I hop back to this, here's my 1.15 Quake Sense. I go here, changes the yaw, it takes this increment, keeps it the same, and then figures out this is what sensitivity I should have in Overwatch to get the same sensitivity, same increment. So there are a couple games listed in here, and I really want to mention that Fortnite. Uh, there was a very good reason I have both the Fortnite config file and the slider. The slider in game, let's just look at Overwatch for example, you go to options, you go to this, whenever you move it, there's a distinct tick. You hear it, it stops at actually the exact number it's telling you it is here. In Fortnite, whenever you move it around, it goes from 0 to 1, and it doesn't show you enough decimal places. So in Fortnite, if you have 0 
it could actually be 0 0.056 blah 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 or 0 0.064 blah 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 but it doesn't tell you so there's a lot of precision that's missing there so whenever you um, are playing Fortnite if you're using the slider it's not going to be accurate unfortunately so you can see mine should be 0 0.045 something so if I clicked my mouse on the slider and I tried to oh forgot. so my my Fortnite slider uh, from quake sensitivity should be 0 0.045 something so I'd have to kind of fiddle with it in that but somebody made this neat little program that lets you view the configuration file so if I go to the Fortnite configuration and I'll link this in the description of the video you can do file open basically you go to local app data and then Fortnite game saved cloud here client settings dot save this is the actual number. So I've already set this to what I use in, um, in Quake. So I go like this, I go like that, and I hit it and it rounds to that. And you can save this, but then you also need to, ex excuse me, you also need to export this to the cloud. So um, this is something you can use to immediately view it, but you have to jump through a couple hoops to export, and then you have to log into Epic Services to actually upload it to their servers, because the, the cloud is where this file is officially hosted. Um, so, Fortnite sensitivity is a little bit convoluted to modify, but at least you can view it fairly easily if you use this program. And uh, as time goes on, we're probably going to add more games and you know, more options to this. Um, I've definitely been using it to, you know, help out with calibrating sensitivity conversions between games, and I realized that some games are apparently um, tying their field of view to the uh, sensitivity. So Paladins, for example, if you change your field of view, then your in-game sensitivity effectively changes too, which is a bit of a headache. So I have no idea what the right sensitivity should be immediately in Paladins, but if I were to use this, then I go into Paladins, I can you know, set my FOV to whatever, and then use the script, and it works perfect there because I can actually you know, use it for that purpose. There's, um, there are other games that do that too. Anyway, um, I hope you guys find this script useful, and this is version 1.0. I hope that as uh, time goes on, we'll be able to make it even more useful for you guys. So, have a good one.